Welcome to today's video. If I could just ask you to please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so. Also, if you hit the bell button, it will notify you when I next put a video up. So today's video is all about the Beko fridge. Again, you can follow these instructions if you're just replacing, but today's video is from scratch. None of this was in when I first started. So I'm gonna show you how to fit the panels, and how to connect it to the unit, how to fit the door, how to put the handle on. So that's all in today's video, so stay tuned, let's get it installed. Okay, so first off, before we start, just like to make sure that when you do any work, make sure you wear the proper footwear. Safety is the key. Right, so let's get into, the first thing we want to do is get the height of the fridge to slide nicely under the worktop. And the way we do that is adjusting the leg. So clockwise, make some tool up. As you can see, you don't want to go past that bit there. Is that tall enough? We'll soon find out. Okay, so once you've got the height and you're happy with that, you obviously need to push it back into the hole. But first thing you want to do is get the plug out, which is all wrapped up in the back. There it is. And for obvious reasons, plug it in. Yeah, so once you've plugged it in, don't turn it on. You can obviously turn on the switch, but you should have an isolator anyway, so make sure that's off so the fridge doesn't come on. Make sure you take off bits of the top. So that's probably the position you want it in at the moment, while we put the plate on the top and we put the door on. Okay, so the next job is to fit this bit of plastic to your fridge. You have two little holes just in here, and then these five will fit to the worktop. So what you want to use on these ones are the sheet metal screws which is S in the book. You only have two of these. So you just want to give them a little tight. So screw them in with the screwdriver. Okay, so the next job is to put these clips on. You've got this one, which is an adjustable to bring it up and down. That one will go at the top. And then you've got this one, will go at the bottom. So again, torque screws, this time I'm afraid. They do have almost like it's a flat head as well, but you're best to use a torque screw. And the one you'll need is an M5 Star 12. I'll put that in the description, give you a link to it and stuff like that. So first job is to put this one on. Okay, so first off we need a measurement, which is what our screw is gonna go in here. So again, this does just up and down. So ideally, what we wanna do, get a Phillips screwdriver, and we want to put that to roughly the middle of both. What that does is it gives us a fair assumption. So now we need a measurement which technically would be where our screw is to the top of the door. Again, like we said, we can measure it. Um, we can adjust it. So this is gonna be touching the, the worktop. So we'll take a measurement off that. Just a rough measurement, which is 25. Okay, so to summarize, the top we worked out is 25 mil. So we made 25 mil, 25 mil. Then we come in 40 from this side, which is not the door, door handle side, 40 mil in from there. So 40, 
centimeters in from there 25 down from there and then this to this is 505 like that which then gives us a bigger gap this side which doesn't really matter but what it does is when these screws go in you adjust left or right to lock it in pilot with our little one again you only want to go a couple of mil in you don't want to go all the way through there's that so now putting our fillets back in and what we'll do is we we'll screw down just a couple of mil in just leaving it out enough okay so the next job is put these screws into there like that do is now push the fridge back Okay, so once the door's on the front, you need to get two more red screws and we're going to just show on the camera, just inside there and there is the screws to screw into the cabinet. So, what we need to do, and before you put the second screw in, you just need to make sure that when you push the door back, that that's flush with that you know that means bringing it forward very slightly that's what you need to do so i'm happy with that so we open up get your screw double door double check see that can come up a little bit that gap's looking pretty good and take a couple of wood screws and this is where you into the work okay so now we want to try and get this gap nice and even okay to get exactly where I need to go for the door left or right I need to put the panel in which is in between the fridge and the freezer so again push it all the way in the back Make sure it's touching all corners. That will fend fit perfectly there. And this bit obviously will need to go there. So we get our pencil. And what we could do is we can always bring this panel forward because it doesn't need to go all the way to the back. So, I ideally just the same market there. And the slice panel in. In it, get yourself a, a screw, once you've got one in, you're good to keep going. Nice and tight. Four in the top. Really, 
need maybe put one or two in and then just double check again. Again, we can bring that up slightly with your final up and down adjustments. I'm happy with that. So we got our last four screws. Nice and flush. Had to tap the bottom out, the back out. So there you go. Put the back out with a yellow and a brown. You can see, makes it nice and flush. And then our next job is, so I've got a pack of L-shaped brackets. And so what we'll do is we'll put a bracket there, and a bracket there. That'd be nice and, nice and tight. Just to hold it. So L shaped bracket up. Buy that hole. Buy that hole. Okay, so next thing we need to do, obviously we have a plimp that goes here. So ideally we need to, so I'm going to cheat. So this first bit needs to be as neat as possible. rubbish so there we go one installed fridge well perfect working order thanks a lot for watching I hope you found this really helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below I'm happy to answer them and again good luck with uh, fitting your new fridge freezer look we got another little visitor hello bets do you like it is it good have a little look what's in there yeah, so if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe for more videos. Hit the bell button again, that lets you know when I put new videos up. Um, and thanks for watching my video. And I hope you uh, enjoy DIY in your own house. Bonjour.